Hello, in this video we will see how we can uh, use Google Fonts in our Laravel project. Okay, so to start with this we just need uh, Laravel data, uh, Laravel project. Okay, so in this example I will take the this website. Okay, so this is my website, this is Laravel project. So I simply just uh, open its directory where it's uh, hosted on the server okay maybe your project uh, are on the local system or on the server you can uh, you, you can use it use this method in both the cases okay so we just need to open the google font website uh, and choose the right font that we need to apply on our website suppose we need to apply this particular font on our this website okay so we, what, what we need to do we just need to click on this particular font select this uh, select this font and after selecting this particular font we just uh, need to uh, select its style like this particular font uh, we need to select this particular style we just uh, need to click on this select regular 400 okay uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, for other fonts you can find the all other styles also like for some fonts uh, there is eight or nine styles also uh, in that case you just need to select the uh, particular styles that you want to integrate okay we, we just uh, in this particular example we just uh, we are having just one style so we just click on add this and you can see in the right hand window you can see the font here this particular font this uh, edit and uh, this is this is the code that we need to uh, put on the website okay we just uh, copy these three lines these three lines and go to our Laravel project and we just simply need to go to the uh, that particular layout file or a view file that is uh, responsible uh, for the rendering of this particular page or we will uh, uh, paste this code at the head of the uh, head, header of the website okay so so in my case uh, just uh, just let me check okay so for the home page I am using the layout file in this project so if I just open the layout file okay this is my layout file that is uh, rendering on each of the website page okay so we just uh, need to check if this is the right file I just write a random thing here and check if it's uh, reflecting on the website as you can see it's reflecting the website that means it is the right file so we what we need to do just copy this particular code this particular code for the this particular font and paste at in the head section of the website so in my case I just paste it uh, the bottom of the head code okay. <coughs> so here is my uh, tab of the head code okay I just paste all the three lines from the Google fonts here and just click on save changes okay after clicking on save changes let's just we need to check if uh, it's reflected on our site or not we just reload the page once again and click on view page source and if we just scroll down at the bottom of the head tab you can see this these are this is the font font file font uh, code that we need to put it on okay so now the first step is completed we just now need to implement the second step the second step is the css uh, we need to apply the css rule to the particular tags on which we want to show this particular font okay so in uh, this particular example what will i do i will just uh, apply this style to the complete website tags okay so i just uh, writing down this way I just select all the tags using uh, writing star and start start the curly braces here and paste the font family this okay I just simply click on the save changes now this particular font will apply all, on all the tags on the website okay if I just reload my website as you can see uh, as you can see uh, this particular line is changed with the update and this one also this one also, all the all the fonts now changing but as you can see almost all the font all the text is changed but 
this particular line is not changed yet because uh, because uh, for this to work completely yeah, because sometimes it's not working we just need to put here and keyword like important because sometimes uh, the CSS rule is overwriting on something so let's check this out if it's working or not now as you can see after writing the important keyword now it's applied successfully okay so this is the, this is how we can use the google font on our laravel based project it is very simple if you are having any question just let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you out thank you